One of the great things about type layers is that they remain editable. And that's true even after you've saved and closed and reopened a document, as long as you saved it in a format that retains layers, like the Photoshop format. In this video, we'll look at some ways to edit type layers. If you're following along, you can use this image from the practice files for this tutorial, or an image of your own that has type layers. If you want to change all of the text on a type layer the same way, then here's what to do. Go to the Layers panel and select the Type Layer. Then go over to the Tools panel and select the Type Tool. You don't have to highlight all the text on the layer. Now if you want to make a change, let's say a change to the font size, go up to the Options bar and choose the option that you want. So I'm going to type in a different point size here in the Font Size field. And that affected everything on this type layer. The same is true if you have multiple lines of type on a layer. To see that, let's select this type layer in the Layers panel. We still have the Type tool selected in the Tools panel, so we'll go up to the Options bar and we'll click on the Font Color field. In the Color Picker, you can choose another color for this text. I'll move the Color Picker over so that we can see the text. One thing I sometimes like to do in the Color Picker is check only web colors and that limits the number of choices, which makes it easier to choose a color. I'm going to choose this color gray, and you can see that that affected all the text on the selected type layer. And then I'll click OK. Now let's say that I've clicked on a regular layer and I'm doing some other work in this image. And then I decide that I want to change just one of the words on this layer. I don't have to bother selecting the type layer that contains these words. All I have to do is select the Type tool in the Tools panel and then come into the image and click and drag over the portion of that text that I want to change. And that automatically selects the correct type layer in the Layers panel. Now that I have that text selected, I could change any of the options in the Options bar, or I can actually change the words of the text. So I'm going to type Fine Clothing instead of Custom Clothing. And then I'll go up to the Options bar and click the check mark to accept that change. Down at the bottom of this image, we have another kind of text. If I click on that, you can see that a type layer is selected, and on this type layer, there's a text box. This kind of text is called paragraph text. Let me show you quickly how this was made, and then I'll show you how to edit it. I'm going to come up here, and with the type tool selected, I'm going to hold down the shift key and click to start a new type layer. And then I'm going to drag. And as you can see, that created a text box. Now you can just type in this box, and the text will wrap when it gets to the edge of the box. Instead of typing, I'm going to go up to the Type menu and choose to paste this dummy text, just so that we have something to see in that box. Now, if I change the shape of the box, you can see that the text rewraps. I'm going to go up to the Options bar and click the Cancel symbol to delete that in-progress type layer. And now, let's go down to the actual paragraph text in this image and click on it and reshape the text box to reflow this text. Hold down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on Windows as you hover over one of the edges of the text box, and then drag outwards to reflow the text from the center out. Then release your finger from the mouse or trackpad and release your other finger from the Option or Alt key. And I've managed to reflow the text from three lines to two lines while maintaining the position of the text box in the center of the screen. Now I'll go up to the Options bar and click the check mark to accept that change. When you're done editing type layers, you want to be sure to save in a format that retains layers, like the Photoshop format or the PSD format. So that's an introduction to editing type layers in Photoshop. Try these techniques on some of your own images.